Ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Sir Lionheart here and we are about to jump into the third Fire Emblem game I've ever played on this channel. Reach for my hand, I'll soar away into the dawn. Oh, I wish I could stay here and cherish hearts in peaceful days. I fear the edge of dawn, knowing time betrays. Faint lights pass through colored glass in this beloved. Place. Silver shines, the world dines, a smile on each face. As choice surrounds, come build it bounds, and I can feel them breaking free. For just this moment lost in time, I am finally me. Alrighty guys, welcome to a new playthrough on the channel. We're about to start up Fire Emblem Three Houses. We are about to just get straight into the game. No stalling, no talking. Let's get into it. So this is the third Fire Emblem game we're playing on this channel, right? So by this point, we are kind of experienced. So we're just gonna play on hard. And we're gonna go classic. I've never played on classic before, but we're gonna go classic. Even though I'm wearing my filthy casual shirt right now, we gonna play on classic. All right. <laughs> I think I played on classic for the first game, right? Awakening. I don't know if I played Awakening on classic, cause I, I remember still resetting regardless. So it's whatever. Connect to the network and play online. Uh, is there a reason for it for us to play online? I'm gonna say no for now for now I'm just gonna say no But anyway, let's get straight into the game. Let's see what the game has to throw at us It's a war. It's, it's straight up war. <gasps> Damn. Look at this dude. <laughs> this dude threw a flaming lance into the ground and incinerated like at least 20 people. She's just sitting there, dude. She ain't even holding down back or nothing. She didn't even flinch. You can't just sit there. Oh, nice whip, dude. Nice lipstick, by the way. Did I just see heels? She's out of war in heels. What is this? Oh, 
nice, dude. Nice sword. That sword is nice. Bruh, she said, squad up. <laughs> she died kicked on him, dude. <laughs> Tell me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? You'll die. Oh, whoa! Die! die. Oh! No! You took everything that yeah. I loved. Yo, stop! Stop! <laughs> stop! Yo, that's madness, dude. Praise the sun. My dude got shanked to death. He's gone now, mother. Damn. She straight up stabbed that man to death. Took his weapon away, punched him in the face, died, kicked him, and just did a fatality on him. Damn. Tiki? Is this the oh new my. Tiki? What could have brought you here? So everybody watching on YouTube right now, I need y'all to know something. Jets are in the I sky right now. Got in here. Jets are in the sky. Everything is just crazy right now, so the sound is a bit out of whack, and I apologize. But anyway. Are the voices lower than the game? It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. She said that calm, but she looks really angry. <laughs> now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. What is this scary ass music right now? All right, so we get to pick male or female. The 3D models look clean, dude. All right, what are we doing? The people want Chungus. The people want Chungus, so we're going Chungus. <laughs> hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? I'm a demon. Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in oh. mind. Oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna be honest with you and say, I'm a ghost. Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in mind. <laughs> she said the same thing twice. Uh, I guess I'm a mortal. <laughs> I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Byleth is his original name. That's his canon name. But his actual name, the game developer is actually, I spoke with the developer of this game. He actually told me the real name originally was supposed to be Chungus. <laughs> Chungus. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go with Chungus here. I have one more. I can fit one more letter in here, but uh, yeah, that's, that's it, dude. Is Chungus correct? Huh. Yes. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. <laughs> you must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Oh, okay. Birthdays. We got Chungus. Big Chungus is in the house. So there's 12 months and 30 days, right? 31 days. For certain months, I guess. Wyvern, horse bow, verdict. Well, don't you get bonuses for your birthday? Playing on your birthday? So because this playthrough is happening in July, I'm probably gonna end up playing sometime in August as well. I'm probably gonna make it August, August 1st. Oh no, I'm gonna say July 27th. Let's say July 27th. Which is tomorrow. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. Word? How strange. We share the same birthday? Is that just unique dialogue because I picked her birthday and didn't know about it? Or is it 
She just says that for everybody's birthday. Huh, that'd be interesting. Hmm. It all feels so familiar. I think it may be time for yet another nap. It is almost time to. Ooh, she making me sleepy. Yawning is way too contagious. Even if it's fictional or non-fictional. She dead ass just fell asleep. Hey, uh, do I get to customize my avatar? No? No? You know why we can't customize our avatar in this game? Because she fell asleep before she can get to the option. <laughs> hey, time to wake up. Hey, it's Geralt. Wait, this dude's actual name is Geralt. Were you having that dream again? I was dreaming about a young girl. You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. Oh, baby. Look at these 3D models, dude. Look at these models. They actually have feet, by the way. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. My man, Jiraiya. J Mom, what's his name? What's the voice actor's name for Jiraiya? Like, John something? David, okay. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. All right, sweet. Is this entire game going to be voice acted, by the way? I really hope it is. Of course. Hmm? Oh. oh. Good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Did y'all see that? There was like a little icon that appeared. It had a heart and it, it had it going up. So there's affection that you can just get from dialogue choices? Really? Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? What's Please happened? forgive our intrusion. Whoa! We wouldn't bother you with the situation not dire. What the hell's going on immediately? What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Really? Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. Damn, I like his eyes. I really like his eyes, dude. That's one pretty ass dude. <laughs> I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform. Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Oh boy, let's get it. Geralt. All right, let's get it. Inevitable encounter. Let's make a save. I love like the eight bit art with the load screen. Yeah, yeah, look out, that's, that's sick. Toon J with the 100 bits saying the pretty man needs it. Vote for the deer. Vote for the deer, man. Oh, yeah, the pretty man actually needs it. All right, a skirmish at dawn, prologue, and an inevitable encounter. We just read that, by the way. Oh, they holding axes. They trying to ask us some questions. Oh, no. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Okay. Hold on, let me listen to this music for a second. Let's all sit and listen. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, dude. I'm not stalling! The music is just so good! I'm sorry. Alright, let's get back into it, guys. I apologize. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Yo, did you just hear? I think I'm gonna like this game a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> Select the unit and then move. Alright. While your unit is next to an enemy, the command window will open. To attack, select the attack command and choose a weapon. Stay focused. 
Oh, we get combat arts? What does that mean? Wrath Strike. Weapon durability goes down by negative three. What? Oh! Oh, I think I see what that means. So I do more... Okay, so... Combat arts basically allow you to do more damage at the cost of more durability. Is that what it's telling me right now? Combat arts do more damage at the cost of more durability, it looks like, right? Yeah, we want to just combat art his ass then. Big Chungus! Oh! Uh! Don't mess with the Chungus! You fought well. Don't mess with the Chungus! <laughs> A weapon will break when repeatedly using... Oh, okay. When it gets to zero. Okay, they brought back weapon durability. You can fight with a broken weapon, but you might... But your might and hit rate will be reduced. That's cool. So the weapon will break, but hit rate and the strength of it will go down. So that's actually good. Instead of your weapon just breaking and you having no means of attack, you can still attack, but it just won't be as potent. Let's get it. Use the battle menu to create bookmark saves, view tutorial guides, and more. Alright, cool. Battle phases, player phase, enemy phase, yup. So dude can only go so far. So we want to just start bringing everybody up, huh? I will prevail. She will prevail. I'll cut through. Alright, let's bring him up. Bring him up. Bows can attack from a long range. So he's got Ready two and steps. Willing. Can I pair people up? Talk. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some oh, remote cool. village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. These were never voiced like this in like the, the Fire Emblem games I played. All right, cool. And we got that affection up. So I guess I should try to talk to the other two. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. All Take right. Up position inside this the music is, is going hard, dude. Certain terrain will have effects on the unit occupying it. Forest will... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stick them into terrain so they can get advantages. All right. So if I put it right here, or right here at least... Three people can attack her, man. I don't know if we want that. Do I want to put it like right there? Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. All right. Forests are not the only terrain type. Keep an eye out for others such as thickets and heel tiles. You can see the effects of terrain by placing your cursor over it. Okay. Is this anything? Terrain that cannot be crossed. Let's talk to her. You have a strange aura about you. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. That's Terry Platt. <laughs> That's actually Terry Platt. All right. That is Elizabeth. Oh, I like that. They got that, um... What? Wow. Okay. That's actually cool. This is actually cool, dude. So they got that, uh, Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, going on so if you're like in the line of sight If you're in the line of sight or whatever if they can reach you and attack you a line will actually go there and say hey They can reach you All right, so I'll move them up uh, 16 don't go on that man Let's go. Yeah! She's taking five damage out here. Uh, cut him up. Cut him up. Yeah. 
This is a fine opportunity. It's the combat arts I taught you. You taught me combat arts? I taught myself that, buddy. Combat arts are powerful techniques that use more durability than usual. Okay, they do not typically allow for follow-up attacks. Okay, units learn new combat arts when their weapon skill level goes up. So, weapon skills mean a lot more in this game than previous games. There are no combat arts for a reason for faith. Those skills grant magic instead. Oh, okay, cool. All right, big chungus. You think I should just try to let Chungus get all the kills? Curved shot. Can he hit two people at once? That'd be so cool. No, he can't. A regular shot. Technically. What we're probably gonna wanna do is use curved shot because then go further yeah he can shoot further nice he's just gonna finish dude off uh. this way we don't have to leave our terrain yeah all right cool and dimitri can just stab this guy real quick all right stab him stab him if he would have missed that. <laughs> Who's next? Looking like Keelik. Alright, and she's just gonna swing on him. Oh yeah, you're dead, dude. Smash! Hit rate goes up. Yeah, I think I'll just use this. Hit rate is higher. Ah! Hit him with the axe! Well, how was that? Try fighting in the other mode. All right. Actually, can I talk to him? Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. D Wait, who didn't I talk to with already? I talked to all three, right? So if I back out, talk. Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. All right, let's do it. Let's do this work. All right. Let's attack the dude in the middle, obviously. As expected. I, I skipped the animation. I try, I try to go into the zoom up mode, which is start, and I skipped it by pressing start. <laughs> Select the items options to change your equipped weapon or use items. All right. All right, what's now? Uh-oh. Damn. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them, too. Damn, this dude looking crazy with that eye. ba bum ba da ba da dum bum dum bum dun all right, what are we doing? An item icon on an enemy indicates that you will get that item that is highlighted. All right, do they have anything? He has an iron axe. All right, cool. Can I control him now? No, he's like a unit. He's like an allied unit. Should I just let these dudes walk up on us? Is that the smarter play? Because if I move anyone up there, wouldn't they all like target him? He gets one defense. I guess the best thing is for them to just walk up on us. Damn, dude, they got some, they got some movement, huh? If anybody's gonna move, it's gonna be your boy. Damn. He's gonna put him right there. Damn. 
Damn, the range on these dudes are OD. All right, all right, all right. Use a bone area on yourself. There we go. Alright. The range is insane. I guess we're just gonna wait. I'm just gonna end my turn. Let them run up on us. Oh god. Gerald is about to steal experience. <laughs> <laughs> My man is still an experience. Oh no! Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. All right. Linked attacks when your attack an enemy. It is also an attack range of one or more of your units. You will trigger a linked attack. During a linked attack, your avoid rate and hit rate are higher than normal. Okay, linked attacks between certain units will also raise might. Good use of linked attacks is key to defeating power of enemies. Okay, powerful enemies. Linked attacks will also build support among the units involved. All right. So if I come over here and smash dude, right? Technically, we want her to come over here. Try to smash him right here. Smash this fool. That's right. Uh -huh. Dunk on him. Now you know your limits. She just smashing these fools. All right. So the bow user should try to just come over there and just molly wop, dude. Iron bowl. Take him out. See ya! <laughs> Never underestimate an outsider. He's, he threw out them deuces. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. No, actually, I'm gonna try to give the kill to my guy. Tempest Lance. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you where you stand! Uh, oh no, he missed! He freaking missed! What was that? Come on, Dimitri. Come on, homie. Oh, God, dude. If I do this, he can just kill me on the next turn. I just realized that. He can just me up. He literally just messed me up on the next turn. Oh wow, you can just zoom in all the way. All right, okay, okay. I guess the best thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait and see what he does. Yeah, that's right. Smack him. He's out of his terrain now. Hey, Edelgard. Magic, deck, speed, stronger. luck, res. First one to level up. What Damn it! Aren't you no! Gerald, the blade breaker? What's a renowned mercenary like you doing here? I'm the one who should be complaining. I'm caught up in the mess you started. He's about to steal my EXP, bro. <laughs> mm. He said, nope, get that out of here. All right, now I'm gonna walk up behind this dude. Actually, Nah, uh, I'm gonna just give it to Chungus. Give it to Chungus, homie. Can I link with an archer?
Oh damn, he's dead for sure. Oh yeah, you're done, homie. You're hey, definitely done. You with the blank stare. Out of my way. Now nah, come catch this fade. Uh, cut him up. Yeah. Yeah, Chungus. I don't, I'm Dude, treating it like cold steel. Part. I'm treating this like cold steel now because it's like they're talking about link attacks. I'm like, how do I link up? <laughs> Hey, give me give me your iron axe, homie. <laughs> oh! We stopping time out here? What is this about? What are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. Uh-oh. She lives inside <sighs> me? She lives inside That's me, this little fine. girl? After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Is this Cassandra? Of not. <laughs> Is this Fee? Well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. Sothis. But I'm also known as The Beginning. Uh oh, where's the end? Hmm. Sothis, I like. I'm liking the fact that this game has been entirely voiced so far. I'm just saying that's automatically a plus status. Sothis, yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. I don't have to struggle to to read and pronounce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I am also called the beginning. Who once called me that? Suthis. I was not able to recall my name until just now. Until you almost got yourself killed, dumbass. And just like that, it came to me. How odd. Y'all hear this creepy ass music? That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Whoa, chill. Chloe, that chill. child just saved your life. And what does that make you? I am no child. <laughs> <laughs> Such arrogance. You look the part, but are you truly an adult? Yeah, actually. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty selfless, you know? Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. You know, you right. You stopped time? <laughs> hmm, I do not hear your gratitude. <laughs> Perhaps I should force you to leave? <laughs> Damn! Chill! Chill! I'm sorry! There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? <laughs> I did deem you worth saving after all. <laughs> Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? What will happen when time resumes? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. Damn. <clears throat> How rude of you to drag me into this. <laughs> I guess we're going to stop time forever until um, we feel like dying. Now what to do? Keep time frozen until I'm safe. <laughs> that, is, that is literally the idiot response. I should put it. I'll just stay here and wait to die. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these responses. Let's turn back the hands of time. Keep time frozen until I'm safe. That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, but perhaps. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. There we go. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Okay. Now go. Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. This is interesting so far. I'm liking this. We got time, time uh, bending powers. 
You heard of fire bending, earth bending, water bending, air bending? What about time bending? Psych? Get that ass countered. Hey, over here. Huh? We got Claude Van Dam, Dimitri, and Edge Lord. I couldn't think of a clever name for Dimitri. Hey, did you just stop time? Yep, I sure did. <laughs> the Knights of Seros are here. Oh my God, we'll that beard. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Oh my God, he sounds like one of those heroes, like a police officer from like a Disney movie. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, why him? Skirmish at dawn, turn five. MVP Chungus. 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 <laughs> Big Chungus, baby. Big Chungus out here doing work. Yeah, but I respect my man. <laughs> Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. It's this guy. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Alois, huh? Oh, it must have been. Oh, Grace, whoa. I always knew you were still alive. Oh, that, that's an issue. That is an issue. All right, so I apologize for that, guys. Hold on. That is an issue that happens with the Nintendo Switch. I don't know. The Nintendo Switch is the only console that happens with, with my Elgato would. So I apologize. Apologize about that. You haven't changed a bit, Alois. Just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mach Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? I'm a bandit. <laughs> oh, great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Uh-oh. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. My god, so in every game... Why is... I think every game we're playing... Cassandra Lee Morris is literally in the game playing as your conscious. She's literally playing your conscious, dude. Swear to goodness. And I say that all the time, because... She plays I appreciate cat like back people. There. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Nah, I'm good. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mach Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. Nice music. I definitely got the worst of it. The music is definitely clear and crisp quality, I'd tell you that. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. <laughs> everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. 
Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. <laughs> Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet? Ooh. Or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of Yikes. some sort? Yikes. In any case, forgive our digression. <laughs> I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. They just sitting here going out at it, man. They just going at each other's throats, man. It's crazy. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. The Empire? I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. Damn. Wait, I'm gonna let you finish, but... The Holy Kingdom of Fargus <laughs> is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. <laughs> Wait, that was rude. She, he just completely interrupted her. She was speaking first. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa, there. You two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems uh -oh, is this it? Of birth is quite is this it? Is this the choice? Yet they are so impressed by you that you right. take your pick. So one thing well, I gotta just uh one thing I gotta say right now to everybody on YouTube. So right now the house that we're going to pick is not decided by me. It's decided by the viewers and their support. And right now, the Black Eagles are looking like the the house we're going to go with right here. Oh, boy. This isn't it? Oh, boy. This isn't it? This isn't it? Yeah, I'm, blame I'm blaming everybody. I'm blaming the viewers, bro. Whatever path we take is it's not my fault. It's, it's the viewer's fault. If we if we die, it's the viewer's fault. It's not my fault. I <laughs> <laughs> A wise choice. Though the empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. All right, that's enough. That wasn't the, the pick. Talk. It's it just gave infection up. Okay. Monastery. All right, so, all right, that wasn't the choice that we had to make to get into the house, I guess. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Metal guard. She's a refined young woman, but I feel as though she is always evaluating me. All right, cool. He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking behind. Oh God, Claude. His easy smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping. Okay. She plays sleepy characters. Why? They she is typecast. And she's such a good voice actor, by the way. That voice actress, my bad. They typecast the hell out of her. Oh hey, you trying to play this sleeping beauty? This sleeping princess, sleeping character? Yeah. Go Part to bed, Chungus. White cloud. Part one. Great tree moon. <laughs> that should be a chapter name. <laughs> the chapter name should be Go to Bed, Chungus. 
<laughs> the icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter. Oh, man. And the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fogland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate dun, the dun, 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 year, dun, dun, people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to this. one day grow into a great tree. Look at this art. It's so historical. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the holy kingdom of Fargus, Fargus. ruled by the royal family <laughs> and its knights. The the home of to Vargas. the east, a league of nobles that he's no such a nerd name, Vargas. Rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Chungus goes to school. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of funny titles. For this playthrough. <laughs> this will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. My dude looks hella chill. Damn! This is Hogwarts, man? What is there this? There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. Yeah, dude, this Fire Emblem game is like on like another level, man. Out of all the Fire Emblem games I play, this shit is on another level right now. Uh oh, we got orb users. We got Bouncy Breast! Bouncy Breast! He knows what's up. He knows what's up. <laughs> yo, Nintendo, y'all, y'all, this is what y'all doing out here to sell more copies of your system? We <laughs> Nintendo know what's do they they know what they're doing. <laughs> But that's the crazy chick that stabbed the hell out of dude on the battlefield. I don't like that stare of Harris. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? Chongus, Chongus, Chongus. <laughs> right now. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh. All right, here we go. You seen her before? Or you've been here before? Who's her? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Lady Rhea. The Archbishop. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization <laughs> is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Seteth. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Seteth. Right. Hello. So far, I have not seen one lick of voice acting that wasn't voiced. Wait, one lick of text, text that wasn't voiced, except for, like, the tutorial stuff, but clearly. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? We actually have a... We're actually someone's son. Yes. Born many years after I left this place. I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child. But I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? Rhea. 
My name is Chungus. My name is... A fine name indeed. Chungus, yeah. She, she agrees. She loves my name. She knows what's up with the big Chung. The big Chunga. From the bottom <laughs> of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. Hmm. Our mom is dead, man. God damn it. I'm tired of my mom being dead. Gerald. You already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. All right. Chungus. Ah, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. God damn it, Dad. You dragged me into this nonsense. I gotta work here? As a servant? Oh, man. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. They want me to teach. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. Oh, dude, we get to teach people. I actually am very excited to see, like, what we have to do as a teacher. Because I haven't really been following this game too much, other than knowing that there are three main factions in the game, and you gotta pick one of the factions. But everything else is like, I, I really don't know. <laughs> So it's gonna be very interesting that the hop in here as just Chungus and see see what we can do. I wonder if we can like I wonder if, if what the teaching mechanics are, if there's like teaching mechanics and stuff. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Goddamn, Manuela. Manuela? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. <laughs> you can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. You ain't gotta tell me twice. The dead in her eyes, man? I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. This dude's name is Hanuman. I am Hanuman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Okay. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> and available, whoa. You're a songstress? Strong? Of course. A songstress? Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Uh-oh. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, Bruh. have you? I should have named my guy Snape. <laughs> do you really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Yep. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom Ooh, of boy. Fargus. Blue Lions, somebody save the Blue Lions. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, 
the mm. leader of the Alliance. Grandson, the Duke Regent, huh? To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. <laughs> That's cool. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Thank you very much, Manuela. All right, we get to save our no game, right? no intention of changing your mind, uh -oh. Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy Damn, is... this dude's going in behind my back. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. You know, we got some, we got that bid war still alive and going right now. ATM just gifted two tier one subs. So one to Cafe and another one to Draco. Oh my God, dude. We, we got this bid war still alive. We got 1500 points going to the deer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Rhea looks like a, cons a conspirator. She, she seems like she would actually set the building on fire. Looking into her eyes scared the hell out of me. Anyway, it's time to split the part. It is time to get ready to select a house. I'm going to save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more Fire Emblem.